Hello everybody, uh, I'm here in the beach, uh, in the Pacific Ocean. Um, if you don't know what the Pacific Ocean is, you probably were not paying attention in elementary school because it's a very, very large, very large body of water. A lot of history have happened, you know, close to or at or in the Pacific Ocean. And more specifically, I'm here at the shelling point. If you don't know what the shelling point is, you should look it up. But this is the shelling point of Andres, right next to the Pacific Ocean. Uh, can't be more, much more detailed than that. And uh, the thing I was gonna show you is, you know, once you start thinking, for example, about the free energy principle, <laughs> it's a little bit like that, uh, that meme of like, literally anything, is this the free energy principle? Or is this an exemplar of the free energy principle? And the thing that will be the exemplar of the free energy principle today for all of you to think about is erosion curves. You know, you look at, yeah, this, uh, yeah, basically like all of this sedimentary rock and the shape that it makes also, you know, key feature of the shelling point over here. And uh, you ask yourself, in what way could this possibly be related to the free energy principle? And I think something that we can mention is that, you know, I mean, obviously everything tends towards disorder and everything tends towards minimizing energy. Um, and, you know, what you actually see in the world is the balance between those two things. Um, in the case of er erosion curves, you may think, what does this have to do with anything related to the free energy principle? Well, the idea is that the air is like constantly in some sense like trying to maximize the disorder it impacts on things and the things that give away to disorder essentially are not here anymore. Um, interestingly, I would suggest basically the curves that you observe. You know, this is pretty uh, soft rock. This is a, a sedimentary rock and the particular shapes that you see, I mean, of course, like the hardness of the material will have a lot to do with it. but. To some extent, you can think of the air currents carving whatever they can carve. And, you know, to some extent, the shape of <laughs> these erosion curves is exactly the shape that allows the air to, in a sense, move exactly in such a way that it stops eroding or erodes as little as possible. So uh, if we were to pay very close attention to the precise curving here, I would suggest you will see the free energy principle. And that is to the extent that the curves are guiding air in a way that makes the air as le least erosive as possible. And in that sense, yes, I mean, the shapes that do survive will be, in a sense, taking into account the entropy and the environment and trying to minimize the impact that that entropy has on themselves. All right. Have a, have a wonderful day. Thank you.